someone's coming. Okay, welcome Nathan Daru, Nathan Daru or Ahmad or Aldi Harto. How should I call you? Aldi. Aldi, oh, okay. That comes from the third name. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Aldi Hart, Aldi Harto, okay. Aldi, where do you live, Aldi? Napa, Miss? Yeah, tinggal di mana? Where do you live, Aldi? Jakarta. In Jakarta? North or South Jakarta? Mm, I don't know. Hmm? Excuse me? Gimana, gimana? Are you from Al Azhar? Do you go to Al Azhar? Pamulang, Pamulang. Pamulang. Oh. Is it near Tangerang? Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Where do you go to school, Aldi? Are you also from Al Azhar? Just like Kenzie and Almeira? I mean, school, 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 no. Ah? Not from Al Azhar? No? Oh, oke. Okay. Berarti beda ya. Oke, okay, kita coba mulai ya. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. <coughs> Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. 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 Wassalamualaikum Um, I guess this is the first time, our, or this is our first sitting, right? Before we begin the class, usually we, teachers at BP, we have to convey like uh, Islamic teaching material to the students before the class. Yeah, it takes uh, about five to ten minutes, yeah. More or less. Okay, I'm sharing you the screen about Amanah. Have you seen my screen? Yes. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Let's start from the beginning of the slide, from the first slide. Uh, Oke. Okay. Ini kisahnya tentang amanah itu apa ya? Amanah itu kalau di bahasa Indonesia sekitar, mungkin artinya kurang lebih seperti titipan ya. Seperti titipan. Oke. Okay. Nah, di sini ada kisah yang mungkin bisa kita ambil tentang pedagang susu, pedagang susu kambing yang amanah. Oke. Okay. Ceritanya dulu, zaman dahulu, zaman ke pemerintahan atau ke khalifan Umar bin Khattab radhiyallahu anhu ada pedagang susu, ada ibu, seorang ibu beserta anak perempuannya ya. Gitu. Ada apa dengan mereka? Oke. Okay. Mereka itu contoh yang bisa kita ambil pelajaran tentang amanah. Gitu. Ceritanya begini uh, Waktu itu Biasa ya di zaman dulu itu Pemimpin-pimpin kita itu Pemimpin-pimpin Islam para, para khalifah Islam itu The caliphs, the caliphs of Islam Khulafah Rashidin The four Khulafah Rashidin ya, Dari Abu Bakar, Umar, Usman, dan Ali Radiyallahu anhum Nah ini waktu itu di zamannya Amirul Mukminin ya dikenal dengan Amirul Mukminin gelarnya yaitu Umar bin Khattab radhiyallahu anhu. Beliau itu biasa berjalan mencuri jalan-jalan dan lorong-lorong di kota Madinah. Untuk apa? Karena sebagai pemimpin beliau itu mau ngecek gitu ya. Kira-kira nanti ada yang kelaparan enggak, ada yang sakit enggak, ada yang butuh bantuan enggak. Seperti itu tanggung jawab seorang pemimpin ya. Gitu nah. Udah muter-muter di lorong-lorong di jalan-jalan di kota Madinah, begitu capek beliau berhenti dulu lah sebentar terus nyenderin punggungnya di dinding sebuah rumah kecil. Untuk istirahat. Ternyata di dinding rumah di dinding rumah itu itu rumah se -se pedagang susu tadi yang kakak bilang ya seorang wanita tua dan seorang dan anak gadisnya ya gitu ada pembicaraan tentang mereka mereka berdua bercakap-cakap ya si ibu mengatakan begini nak kita campur aja susu kambing yang mau kita jual besok dengan air gitu terus anaknya bilang Jangan bu, tidak boleh. Gitu. Amir Mukminin, maksudnya Umar bin Khattab melarang kita mencampur susu dengan air. Jadi anaknya menolak permintaan ibunya dengan lembut. Lalu ibunya menjawab lagi, tapi banyak penjual yang berbuat curang seperti itu loh. Nah, uh, lagi pula gitu ya toh, Amir Mukminin tidak melihat apa yang kita perbuat. Itu kilasang ibu. 
ya ibunya berkata begitu lalu anaknya e, begini ya mendawai orang tua apa namanya kita harus sabar ya e, kemudian apa yang dikatakan oleh anaknya menjawab ibunya dengan lembut mengatakan meskipun ambil mukminin maksudnya Allah berkhotab itu tidak melihat kita tapi robnya beliau yaitu Allah itu melihat kita gitu apakah kita akan taat kepada ambil mukminin saja di saat dia ada di depan kita beliau di depan kita lalu di belakangnya kita tidak taat gitu lalu kita um, bangang saat kita sendirian gitu ya anaknya bilang gitu ke ibunya gitu lalu Uh, mendengar ucapan anaknya tadi karena nggak sengaja Umar bin Khattab tadi mendengar perkataan mereka beliau kagum dan dengan keimanannya ini berarti keimanannya dia dia tahu dia yakin bahwa Allah itu maha melihat ya dan mentaati perintah itu untuk amanah jujur itu bukan hanya di depan orangnya saja gitu tapi di belakangnya juga gitu wah ini berarti amanah ini ya amanah dan dia beriman yang kuat imannya gitu. Lalu pokoknya intinya singkat cerita beliau menyuruh anaknya setelah besok esokannya soal subuh menyuruh anaknya untuk melamar anak perempuannya tersebut, gitu ya. Oke, dan dari mereka keturunan mereka lahirlah pemimpin besar Umar bin Abdul Aziz yang jadi khalifah di masa Bani Umayyah. Dan beliau sangat terkenal dengan keadilan dan kebijaksanaannya, gitu. Jadi intinya yang namanya sifat amanah itu kalau misalnya kita terapkan di kehidupan kita sehari-hari Kita harus jadi orang yang amanah, misalnya amanah orang tua kepada anak, misalnya di diserahin gadget, misalnya untuk belajar, misalnya gitu ya. Ya berarti dipakai sebagaimana fungsinya, sebagaimana amanah dari orang tua. Kenapa? Karena nanti itu akan ditanya oleh Allah, akan ditanya, akan dihitung bagaimana orang tua memerintahkan kamu untuk menggunakan dengan benar, dengan baik apa yang sudah jadi amanah orang tua, gitu ya. Oke. Okay. Kalau oh, ngebicarain amanah, amanah. Mm-mm, ya, ya hanya itu aja sih sebenarnya dari kakak sebagai pengantar uh, sedikit aja gitu ya supaya nanti kalian tahu bagaimana seharusnya sikap amanah itu dimiliki orang setiap muslim gitu ya. Oke, okay. ada yang baru Kairin? Kairin, halo Kairin. Iya. Yeah. Oh iya. Yeah. <laughs> Kairin, where do you live, Kairin? Halo, Kairin. Iya. Yeah. Iya, yeah. where do you live, Kairin, and where do you go to school? Um, I live in Kota Wisata, and uh, mm-hmm. my school is in Sekolah Alam, Cikas. Sekolah Alam, oke. Okay. It must be very fun to go to Sekolah Alam, ya? <laughs> Maksudnya itu beda dari sekolah yang biasa, gitu. Jadinya pasti seru, gitu ya. Iya. Yeah. By the way, di sana udah azan belum, ya? belum belum ya oke okay. mungkin di sini nanti hampir azan kalau azan berarti kita break untuk salat dulu sekitar 15 menit tentu kita masuk lagi ya ini kan kali pertama kita belajar ya <tuh> jadi mungkin nanti kakak mau share hmm, materinya dari kakak ya berarti ya <tuh> you're going to talk about food and drinks maybe for your first time wait Let me open the file. Have you ever discussed about this topic before? Food and drinks? Not yet? Siapa yang udah pernah bahas tentang ini nih sebelumnya? Mungkin di sekolah? Ada? Not yet. Ada? Belum pernah? Oke. Okay. Not yet. Oke. Okay. Have you seen my share screen? Kelihatan screennya yang kakak share? Yes. Oke, okay, sip. Ini hampir azan sih. <laughs> Sepertinya di sini hampir azan. Oke, okay, mungkin for brainstorming. Ya. Yeah. Untuk brainstorming, kita lihat gambar ini aja dulu sebentar. Hmm. Food means ya makanan, meals, dish itu juga food ya artinya ya, cuisine itu juga food maksudnya masakan. 
drinks ya, beverages artinya minuman. Oke, okay. kelihatan ya screen kakak ya. Ah, coba lihat sekarang. What do you think about these two pictures? Nah, we're going to do brainstorming for a while. Apa dong ini ceritanya? What do you think about the left picture? Hmm, yang ini, this one. Hmm, what picture is it? Um, maybe it, it's a tired teacher. Tired teacher? <laughs> Ya, yeah, we can say it's anyone. It doesn't have to be a teacher. Ya. Maksudnya anyone, anyone. Maksudnya uh, just let uh, let's say it's a boy, gitu aja ya. Boy. Terus, what about the red picture? Hmm. Mm, Somebody uh, selling meatball. Yeah, hmm, that's right. uh, meatballs. Yeah, meatballs. Ya, yeah. okay. Meatball, meatballs, mobile seller, kan? Yeah? Dagang keliling gitu kan ya, yeah? mobile. What about him? Is it uh, when we're going back to the left picture? Is it tired or hungry or sick or what? It can be all of them. Oh, can be all of them. Is there any relationship between the picture on the left and the picture on the right side? Hmm. Yeah. Gimana? Is there any? <laughs> I mean, uh, kalau yang di sebelah kanan, the picture on the right side, uh, he is selling meatballs, ya kan? Anywhere, he goes anywhere, gitu ya. Dan sebelah kiri ini, uh, when we're talking about food and drinks, it it is most probably that, uh, it's, it is most likely to say that this picture on the left side, probably he is hungry, right? <laughs> hungry, it's uh, half past 12, if I'm not mistaken about the clock on the wall. Ya kan, half past 12. And then while while he is hungry, someone selling meatballs is coming around. Ya kan, datang gitu dekat. Wah, ini bikin makin lapar. Maybe he doesn't have uh, his lunch yet. Ya kan, yang sebelah kiri ini. So he's hungry gitu ya. <laughs> ya, seperti itu. Uh, this is the picture for brainstorming. Are you hungry? Would you like something to eat? What would you like to eat? Misalnya gitu, karena you're talking about food and drinks. Gitu ya. Nah, uh, in these slides, uh, we are only going to talk about Indonesian foods as we are living in Indonesia. Okay, the first picture is about sate. Who doesn't like sate? Anyone loves sate, right? Is there any oh no, any of you who uh, doesn't don't like, like sate? Sate hmm? that is sweet, miss. I like the sate that is salty. Salty? Is there any kind of sate which is salty? Oh, perhaps sate, sate padang ya. Sate kelapa, what is it? Oh, perhaps sate, sate padang. Kelatak. Sate kelapa. Kelapa. Never heard of it before. It what is Jogja. it? Can you tell me about it? Oh, kelapa. Di Jogja? Kelapa. Ya, kelatak. itu sate oh, yang jadi kayak nggak dibumbuin hmm. kacang kayak gitu. Jadi cuma hmm. biasa aja hmm. terus uh, pakai kuah kayak gitu. Oh. Kuahnya dari apa? <coughs> Kayaknya hmm. cuma... What is it? What Gak is the tahu. sauce made of? Oh, I lived in Jogja for 10 years, but I never, never eaten that before. Had never no, you eaten can that find before. it in Surabaya, I think. Oh, Surabaya, so it's not from Jogjakarta. I mean, I, 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 mean, eat, I lived in Jogja for 10 years. I eat but I, I heard of. a lot in, in Surabaya. Oh, coconut satay. So the sauce is made of? I think tadi? the topping uh, is coconut. the coconut one. The coconut, so me. not, uh, oh, not this. It's not from the nut sauce, yeah. Nut sauce is originally from uh, Madura, I guess, yeah. This one. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a call of prayer coming, calling. <laughs> Shall we have oh, a break first for up. 15 minutes? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Shall we have the break for Asar prayer for 15 minutes? And then we'll get back to our class. Okay. After, after after prayer, okay. I'll just mute my microphone and then we'll go back, get back to this class, okay?
Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. <laughs> Udah balik semua? Kumsalam. Ya. <laughs> Aku juga nggak suka peanut sauce di atas itu. Ya, yeah, peanut sauce. There's no, there's no peanut sauce here actually in the picture. <laughs> But yeah, mostly we know from the picture that it's it's maduran sate, right? The most common one we can find in Indonesia, right? It's different from yeah. sate padang. Yeah, it's different from sate padang because different sauce. They don't use peanuts for sate padang. Sate padang sauce, ya kan? Yeah. yeah, sate padang is not sweet, but yeah, itu uh, spicy and salty, ya. Ya enggak sih? Mm-mm. Mm-mm, gitu. So, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer sate padang or sate madura? Padang. Padang. <laughs> ah, what about sate kelatak yang tadi? <laughs> I'm more like sate kelatak. Oh, sate kelatak. Is it from... A- Is it from also from beef or apa ya? Hmm, chicken Wait, meat? Is, huh? Chicken? Well, I don't know. Hmm? I just eat it, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's okay. Jadi kita ke sini sate. Sate is meat skewers that are cooked over coals. Cooked over something maksudnya dimasak di atasnya. Di atas apa nih coals itu arang. Sebenarnya aslinya itu artinya coals itu batu bara ya. These juicy skewers, skewers ya. Yeah. Ya yeah, ini daging yang seperti ini namanya skewers. Juicy kenapa? Karena maksudnya dia bukan ada jus buahnya, bukan. <laughs> ya gimana ya? Empuk terus mungkin ada kayak... Ya begitulah, pokoknya diwakili sama kata juicy ada aja ya. Ada minyaknya di dalamnya. Iya, yeah, uh, yeah, mungkin segitu ya, kurang lebih. Usually served with rice cakes ya. Biasanya disajikan bersama rice cakes ya. Rice cakes ketupat, tapi bisa juga pakai nasi sebenarnya. With peanut sauce poured all over the sate. Pakai bumbu kacang dengan bumbu kacang yang disiramkan ke atasnya. It is a national dish. Dish itu maksudnya makanan, meals, cuisine tadi itu ya. Uh, cuisine ini sinonimnya uh, Oh, sorry <laughs> uh, Conceived by street vendors Yang dijual sama street vendors Dijual sama street vendors Pedagang di jalan raya Itu jalan-jalan street vendors And has been one of the most celebrated food in Indonesia Dan dia adalah salah satu makanan yang paling terkenal di Indonesia It is practically everywhere. Practically maksudnya praktis dijumpai, bisa dijumpai di mana aja, hampir di seluruh daerah di Indonesia itu pasti ada yang orang jualan sate ya. And highly addictive dan itu sangat membuat orang jadi ketergantungan atau ketagihan itu. Mungkin karena enak ya. Gitu. Itu uh, short description atau brief description about Indonesian sate. Maksudnya ya, sate Madura ya kalau dalam hal ini ya. In this case sate Madura. Next Oke, okay. who loves rendang? Is there any of you who don't like rendang? Ada yang gak suka rendang di sini? I love rendang. Ah, you love rendang. So you like, is you, so you like hot and spicy food, ya? Yeah. <laughs> is it Karin, ya? Yeah. Eh, iya, Karin, ya. Aduh, kakak gak bisa lihat tadi nama yang lain. Satunya lagi siapa, ya? Yang lain-lain tadi. Um, wait, 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 wait. Sebentar. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait a second. Okay, ada siapa ya situ? Uh, Almahira, Kenzi, Almahira. Almahira and Almahira. Okay. Aldi, oke, okay, oke. Okay. <laughs> Kakak belum menghafalkan nama-namanya soalnya. Ada yang chat di sini? No? Wait. Oke, okay, masih kelihatan screen kakak ya? Lanjut ya kita ya. Oke, okay, tadi belum selesai yang beef rendang. The this dish, maksudnya makanan ini originated from Padang. Sumatera mana? Where in Sumatera is Padang? Hmm? Sumatera Barat. 
Oke, okay. West West Sumatera ya. Gitu. Jadi makanan ini berasal dari Padang, Sumatera Barat. Padang food is famous for its spiciness and richness in flavor. Makanan yang berasal dari Padang itu biasanya terkenal karena dia dengan rasa pedasnya ya, spiciness and richness in flavor dan juga ra- kaya rasa dia di uh, rasanya itu kaya, richness kaya. Kekayaan rasanya. You definitely have to try beef rendang. Kamu harus pokoknya, kamu harus cobain makan beef rendang ya, maksudnya rendang daging sapi. It is somehow similar to beef curry. Ini kurang lebih sama aja kayak kari tapi daging but without the broth. What is broth? Tapi enggak pakai broth. Maksudnya enggak pakai kaldunya gitu ya. We get to appreciate this dish because it takes because it takes forever to cook to get the tenderness out of the beef. Jadi uh, <laughs> apa ya? Gimana enaknya ngomong ya? Hmm, kita itu suka banget sama makanan ini gitu ya. Karena masaknya itu lama. It takes forever maksudnya mak- masaknya itu lama, berapa jam supaya dagingnya itu empuk. Ya. To get that tenderness out of the beef supaya dagingnya itu sampai dagingnya empuk. Tenderness maksudnya lunak atau empuk tadi ya. Try this padang goodness and let the world know how tasty it is. Oke, okay. Almahira. Halo Almahira. Do you like beef rendang Almahira? Setelah hari kalau bisa ya, jadi hari Jumat Halo Almahira Bisa bingkus itu Halo Almahira Iya Iya, kedengeran suara kakak, can you hear my voice? Iya Iya Do you like beef rendang? Iya hmm? No? Iya Yes? Oke okay. <laughs> oh, Where do you live Almahira? Almahira, where do you live, Almahira? Hi. Uh, hmm, I can't hear you clearly. Di mana? Aki. Kalau pas tiga. jelas dengar suaranya dek. <laughs> Sekolahnya di mana? Where do you go to school, Mahira? Ah, oh, oke. Okay. Uh, di mana tinggal? ABC Kids Elementary. Oh, ABC Kids. Oh, ya, 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 ya. Oke, oke. I know that. Oke, okay, thank you, Mahira. Kenzi. Kenzi mana tadi ya, Kenzi? Halo, Kenzi. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> Ya, yeah, Kenzie, do you like beef rendang? No. No? So what food do you like? What's your favorite food? Your favorite dish? Indonesian hmm. favorite dish? Hmm? Nasi goreng. Nasi goreng? We're going to talk about that later after this, okay? Nasi goreng. Any kind of nasi goreng? Nasi goreng kambing? Hmm. What about nasi goreng kambing? Atau nasi goreng seafood, yang pakai seafood? Hmm? Hmm, apa aja deh. Apa aja? <laughs> Aldi, Aldi. Ya, yeah, Aldi, do you like, do you like uh, beef rendang? Hmm? Ya, yeah, miss. Uh, my cousin yeah. makes it. Hmm? My cousin makes it. Every? Uh, yeah. Every eight? Every day Idul Fitri? Every day Idul Fitri? No. Every year? Hmm? Normal occasion. Normal occasion. Oh, Because she also makes a business. Oh. Yeah, She's selling that beef and dam. We, we get mm-hmm. sent the nuts for tasting. Ice, Masya Allah. I want to taste it too. <laughs> okay, thank you Aldi. Almaira? Almaira, do you like beef and dam? Yes. Yes, you like it? Mm-hmm. So so or do you like it so much? Very much. so uh, so. So so. Okay. So what's your favorite with Almira? I prefer um, maybe sate. Sate. You prefer sate. Sate Klatak? <laughs> no, Padang. Oh, sate Padang. Oh, you like it so much. Are you Padangnis? No. 
No. Oh, so what? Well, what's your native? Where do you oh. come from? Where are you from? Well, Sumatra? I'm from Jakarta, but my dad does from mm. Surabaya. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Itu berarti nggak ada hubungannya sama Sate Padang ya. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, thank you, Almeira. Kairin? Yes. Ah, you like beef rendang too, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Next, we're going to the next slide. We're going to talk about fried rice. Fried rice. I think this dish doesn't need any further introduction. Kayaknya makanan yang ini, jenis yang ini nggak perlu lagi banyak perkenalan ya, nggak perlu banyak dikenalkan lagi. Indonesian fried rice and its reputation has taken the world by storm. Maksudnya, nasi gorengnya Indonesia ini, untuk jenis makanan yang ini, itu sudah dikenal sampai dapat reputasi yang uh, ya reputasi maksudnya terkenal gitu ya di dunia by storm cepat banget gitu ya don't you agree nah uh, tidak kamu setuju literally everyone has to write, write rice at some point in their life uh, ya mungkin rata-rata kayak hampir semua orang tuh udah pernah nyobain atau nyicipin nasi goreng gitu ya pada satu waktu tertentu dalam hidup mereka and it's the most versatile dish out there ini makanan yang paling mungkin banyak dimakan atau banyak diminati orang gitu kali ya, disukain orang di luar sana. You can mix it, okay? You can mix it with veggies, maksudnya vegetables, chicken. Ya, ini kalau kita lihat ada shrimps di sini ya, chicken juga boleh, daging ayam, beef. Tadi ya kakak bilang pakai daging kambing juga ada ya, nasi goreng kambing. Seafood. Nah, ini ada potongan apa nih? Cumi ya, squid. Okay, Squidward di Spongebob whatever it is that you can think of apa aja, kasih meatballs di iris juga boleh biasanya juga gitu ya oh ya, yeah, don't forget to add eggs ya kan, nih telur mata sapi di sini. what makes Indonesian fried rice different is the use of sweet thick soy sauce called kecap oke, okay. apa yang bikin uh, nasi goreng Indonesia itu beda sama yang lainnya, karena dia menggunakan kecap makanya warnanya agak coklat dikit ya And garnished with acar. Oke, okay, garis maksudnya dihiasin, dilengkapin, dipermanis dengan acar. Acar tuh yang ini nih. This one. This is acar. Makanya dia bilang itu pickled cucumber and carrots. Pickled maksudnya, ya cara buat acar kan dia biasanya you should add uh, vinegar gitu ya. To the chops of cucumbers and onion and shallots, sorry. And carrots gitu ya. Ditunggu, direndam gitu untuk berapa lama, nanti... Uh, you'll get pickles, ya yeah, pickle. Nasi goreng fried rice is considered Indonesia's national dish. Nah, kenapa dia dianggap sebagai uh, makanan nasional Indonesia? Ya karena tadi ya sama seperti sate hampir di semua tempat atau di mana aja orang ada dan hampir semua orang suka sama nasi goreng. Gak ada yang gak suka, gitu ya. Yang terakhir eh terakhir bukan ya nasi rawon. Nasi rawon, where is it? Hmm, what, where is the native of this dish? Nasi rawon. Tadi yang from Surabaya siapa ya? Almeira? Me. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Can you tell me about nasi rawon? Do you like it? Uh, I will like it a little, but not that much. Mm, not that much. How it is taste? How's the taste? It's salty. Huh? It's salty. Salty? No sweet at all? No. 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 And then, mm, with thick liquids like this. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Salty. Uh, is it rich in flavor? No. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> And do you usually have this nasi rawon with rice, also with rice, and with salt, uh, salty eggs like this? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, how much is it per bowl, per portion? I don't think I know it, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it's not that expensive. Mm -hmm. Is it 10,000 or maybe 15 or 20,000? Yeah, because it's made of beef too, ya kan? Dari daging sapi juga sih ya. Mm -hmm. gitu. So what makes it uh, black like this? The color of the liquid. 
Mm. Rawon has this nutty flavor. Is it nutty, the flavor? I didn't taste the nut. <laughs> I don't know. Jadi di sini kalau di sini rawon has this nutty flavor and a deep gitu ya, black color gitu. From the use of keluak nut. So keluak is a kind of fruit actually. It is rich in flavor. So keluak is what makes the liquid like this black in color ya. Yeah? This dish is best enjoyed with a bowl of rice. Ya, yeah, seperti soto ya. Yeah? We eat soto ayam with a bowl of rice juga ya. Yeah? Yeah, mean hearty at the same time. Find it yourself. Let's find out for yourself. Kenzie, do you like nasi rawon, Kenzie? Kenzie? Hmm, gak tau. Belum pernah nyoba. Never tasted before? Okay. Hmm, what about you, Aldi? Have you ever tasted it before? I like rawon. Uh, my mm -hmm. grandmother from my dad's side makes it. Makes it? Yeah. Okay. It's one of her mm -hmm. signature recipes. Signature recipe, inshallah. <laughs> so when do you have this dish, actually? For the eat or for the ocean? Uh, uh, whenever I go to my grandmother's hmm? house. So where's your grandmother's house? Uh, in calendar. A calendar. 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 Okay, calendar. So it's in Klender. East Jakarta, right? Yeah, Klender is in East, ja East Jakarta, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So you like it? Do you like it? Yes. Yeah, yes, of yes. course. Mm, okay, thank you. Kairin, have you ever tasted nasi rawon before? Yes, but I don't like it. Mm, why? Because it, because it's, because it's strong, the taste is strong, and I kind of don't like it. I kind of don't like it. <laughs> is it does it have like a bitter flavor in it? Hmm? I only like the beef. You only like the beef, so you don't taste. I mean, you don't taste the uh, the liquid, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Then thank you. Yes. Alahira, yeah, yeah. Alahira, Alahira, yeah, yeah. Have you ever had this? No. Have you ever had this before, Maria? No. Yeah. Ah, okay. This is a signature recipe from Aldi's grandma's, right? Okay, I think you should try this, yeah, one day. Okay, Almahira? Okay, guys, let's go on to the next slide. It's sop buntut. Huh, what is sop buntut? Anyone ever tasted before? Sop buntut? I have. Mm-hmm. What do you think about the taste? Is it delicious? It's super delicious. Super delicious. So you like it so much, right? Yeah. Mm. Where did you taste it? Where and when? At a restaurant like... Padang? No. Padang restaurant? No, not there. Like mm. in a restaurant... Um... I don't know. I kind of forgot the restaurant name. <laughs> okay. So it's kind of soup actually, but with oxtail. Yeah, kan? So buntut. I also like it so much actually. I've tasted it in Rumah Makan Padang. <laughs> in Padang restaurant. So, you know, in Rumah Makan Padang or in Padang restaurant, they sell many our various kind of dish, ya kan? Gitu ya. Ada termasuk ini, including this one, oxtail soup. Okay, oxtail. It's it looks very delicious. The title says it all. It's a soup with oxtail as its main hero. Jadi, the main ingredient is of course the oxtail, yeah. Although believed that oxtail soup was invented in London, meskipun diyakini bahwa sop buntut ini sebenarnya ditemukan pertama kali di London in the seventh century di abad ke tujuh, but this Indonesian version of oxtail soup. Tapi versi Indonesia dari sop buntut ini is popular as ever. Itu sangat terkenal, ya. Yeah. It is a healthy, yeah, of course healthy, ya. Yeah. And hearty soup loved by many people. Banyak orang suka sama ini. Apalagi nanti dikasih with the squeeze of ini ya, uh, lemon maybe, ya yeah, kan? It apa uh, rasanya jadi fresh banget, enak. The oxtail is usually fried <coughs> or barbecued. 
bisa digoreng atau dipanggang and combined with a soup base. Nah, dia pakai bumbunya bumbu sup. Very tasty and yummy. Of course, for the soup, usually you can find veggies like carrots like this, ya kan? And also, what is this? Is it uh, potatoes? Yeah, right. and this is parsley, ya kan? This is leeks, daun bawang, gitu. Kurang lebih itu sih. Ya, yeah, the veggies that you can find in soup. Ya, yeah, the common one. Uh, what's the next slide? Okay. Hmm, now we're going to talk about uh, measurement, okay? We have this measure words for food, like a bowl. A bowl itu artinya semangkuk. You can use bowl for rice, soup, or cereal. The second picture, we have plate. A plate of rice, spaghetti, or pasta, or zucchini, or anything. You can a plate of steak, of steak. Um, a dish of, or dish itu mungkin... Sama aja ya, pinggan mungkin ya, bahasa Indonesia ini ya. A dish of spaghetti juga bisa di sini ya. Ice cream, you can also use this, okay. A pound of meat or butter. Anything that you can weigh on this. Um, apa ya namanya ini, timbangan ini. <laughs> Sebentar. Apa namanya ya? Do you know what the name of this tool? Hmm. How do you measure? Oh yeah, ounces weighs 25 pounds. How many uh, our one kilos? One kilos. One kilo equals to how many pounds? Hmm? Who knows? Satu kilo itu berapa pon? Ada yang tahu nggak? No? Okay, let's see. We have this one kilogram. Hmm. One kilogram equals one thousand grams. Yeah, of course. Kalau kita ganti, if we change the grams to pounds, we will have two pounds. Two point two pounds. Jadi one kilogram equals two point two pounds. Gitu ya. One kilo. Equals 2.2 okay, pounds. It's how you write it. The fifth picture we have a piece of sepotong. Gitu ya, bisa misalnya a piece of cake, a piece of pie, a piece of milk pie or apple pie or anything. Ya kan? Seperti itu ya. Want to try some exercise? Okay, I'll call you one by one ya. Get ready. Um, first picture is for Almahira. Come on, Almahira. Uh, can. Hmm? A can, okay. Let me mark this on. Picture. A can, okay. The second picture? Jar. A jar, okay. Good, very good. Thank you. Next, uh, Kenzie. Number two, please. Kenzie. Mm. Mm. Packet. A packet, yes, a packet, not not basket, not, not pocket. <laughs> packet kayak gini atau mungkin kalau yang model seperti ini uh, you can found in mini market maybe in any march like Indomaret or anything. Pouch, ya kan? This kind of package you can call it pouch, ya kan? Gitu. The second picture? What about the second picture? Tin. Tin, okay. Tin has the same meaning as can, right? Okay, Kenzie, thank you. Uh, Aldi number three. Aldi, yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. Can you answer number three? Um, for the the first the picture of number three, I think it's a uh, pile. Mm -hmm. Right. And then, then the second picture of number three, I think it's a carton. Yeah, okay, carton. We usually use this kind of package for milk, yeah? Yeah, the liquid one and the powdery one, okay? We use carton. Okay, thank you, Ken uh, Aldi, sorry. <laughs> the fourth 
picture is siapa ya? Almahira maybe? Uh -huh. Oke. Okay. Almahira. Oh, you have three pictures here, not two, oke. Okay. And then Kairin will have four pictures to answer. That's oke. Okay. Number four, Almahira. Mm -hmm. And then, cup? Oh, yes. cup, oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Second one, the middle. Peace. In the middle. Peace, oke. Okay. The third picture? Plate. Plate, oke. Okay. Great, thank you, Almahira. Number five, Kairin. A basket. A basket, good. Second one, this one. Mm -hmm. A cube. A cube. Cube of cabbage, right? Yeah. Okay, the third picture. A slice. A slice, very good. The last picture. A loaf. A loaf of bread. Okay, thank you. Masya Allah, you're all very smart. So proud to have you. Wow, what about this one? We have another challenge. We have the puzzle here. About food Yay. and drink. Yay, find the words below in the word search. I will mark on the word juice okay juice has been done for you the first big, the first word and then i shall have you to find the other words okay let's try one 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 any word that you can see here just tell me okay where and in which line and yeah yeah from in which line Is it across or down? Horizontal I've or vertical? I found ham and burger. Mm -hmm. Hamburger, is it? Hamburger yeah. is yeah. one word. Yeah, hamburger, one word. Number 11. Where is it? Uh, it's in the first line at the top. First line at the top. Okay, hamburger. Okay. Come I on, guys. Mm -mm. I found cake. Cake, where is it? Cake. Below the juice. And yeah, below the, below the juice. Okay, two one line. Okay, below the juice. This one I found it. Thank you. Next, Kenzie, Aldi, <laughs> Almahira. I found tea. I tea, found bread. Where is it? Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. where, 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 where is ice. it? Wait, found wait. ice. Okay, make sure you find the words. Here, okay, from this list of words, wait, wait, wait. okay. Mm. Yep, I found it. Yeah, I what did you find? Go, miss. What is it? What word? Ice cream. Ice cream. Which lines? Um, Which lines? Right is it? One. If you mm -hmm. come from the top, it starts from the third square. Mm -hmm. the, um, M, yeah. <coughs> Hmm, top right. Okay, is this? Is this? Yeah, yeah, that one. It's yeah, there. yeah, good. Next, oh. next word. Okay, found ice cream, hamburger, cake. Bread. Okay, where is bread? Uh, it's uh, line Which? number two. Line. Second line. Yeah, second line on the right, most yeah. right. Yeah, paling kanan. Next. And the I top of it, tea. it's T. Uh -huh. Okay, T. Got it. I got it. T. Sushi. Sushi? I found sushi. Ah, where is it? Uh, under yeah. the cake. Under the word cake? This yeah, one? Yeah, after. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Coffee. Coffee. Where's coffee? Where is coffee? Mm -hmm. Di bawahnya sushi. Below the word. Okay, you you have to uh, skip one line. Okay. This one? Okay, coffee. Okay, I found coffee. I found chicken. What else? Chicken. Chicken? Where is Under chicken? Under the bread. Under the word bread. Okay. Yes. Chicken. What else? Next. 
Ayo come on Aldi, Kenzi, Wells, Kairin, Almahira, Almahira ya. Salman. Yeah. Where is Salman? At the, oh, the last itu. line. Okay. The last line, the last line almost in the middle ya. Yeah? Salman. What is Salman? Is it a kind of vegetables or meat or something? Okay. Salmon is okay. a fish. Uh, is it? I think it's kind of expensive, right? To buy salmon. Yeah. Mm, especially Sometimes I buy salmon with one. sushi. Sushi. Can I you make sushi? Pizza. Mm. Can anyone here make sushi? With nori? Using nori? <laughs> Your mom? Oh, inshallah. It's great. Hmm? Um, pizza. pizza? Oh, pizza, pizza. Where is it, pizza? Uh, it it's have the same line with H for the hamburger. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. You can't find it. Line pizza. number, line number one, two, three, four, five, five. The P and then yeah, go down. Okay, down. Okay. Down. Okay. Thank you. I found oh, ham. A... Ham? I found yeah. steak. Wait, 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 wait. Ham, is this here? Yes, this is ham. Line under what is ham? What is ham? What's the meaning of ham? Ham is a beef, Are... too. I guess. Beef? Is it? I don't know. I know it's hamburger. Yeah, burger is different. With... Okay, let me check. Is it from. Uh, bacon or pork? I don't know. Mm. <coughs> Ham, it's not from beef, it's from pig. Okay. I pig. Okay. Yeah, pig. So, Muslims are not allowed. It is forbidden for Muslims to eat ham. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Uh-uh. I found the other, on other the words store. for ham is bacon. Huh. Okay. Bacon or porcine. Yeah, or pork. Just write it for you. So you should be careful when you uh, when you want to eat some kind of dish, yeah, outside. <clears throat> and the pork, uh, ham, and bacon. They are all the same, referring to pig meat. Okay, pig. So you should be careful, right? Okay. Next. I, I found, found steak and coke. Which what, what? What is it? I found steak and coke. S- steak? You mean steak? Number twenty? Uh huh. Uh huh. Where is it? Where's the word? It's, Can you tell me uh, where? In the nine line. The ninth line. One, two, three, oh, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then I go to the le- oh. uh, to the right side. Yeah. You can find the the S and go down. Okay, that's it. Thank you. And Stay. the coke was below the sushi. Sushi, sushi. The coke. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, finally. Thank you. The coke. We found the coke and also steak. Mm, bread. Oh. Mm. Chicken. We have also found chicken. Salad. Mm-hmm. Cheese. So wait, where is cheese? Oh, not yet. <clears throat> Salad. Yeah. Is it on our list? Oh yeah, number sixteen. Salad. Where is salad? It's on the same uh, line. Line. Sushi and sushi go down. That S. Go down. Okay. No. Salad. Go right. Go right. Go right. Oh, this one. Okay, thank you. Next. Soup, milk, uh, toast, spaghetti, toast. yogurt, toast, or is this toast? Uh, uh, hmm? Like pizza. Oh. Next to pizza? Next to the word pizza? Uh, right. Mm, to the right. Wait, 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 wait. Go mm. down. Go down. There's no toast here. Mm, <laughs> I can't find it. I, I don't see it. 
Oh, this one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, get it. Next. Found yogurt in the folding line. Okay. Upper the salad. Yeah. Okay. What else? What about egg? Where's egg? Only three alphabets. I'm searching for egg. It's yeah. It's it's so Where's hard. Egg? <laughs> Let's just find the the rest of the, the others. Bacon. Where's bacon? Hmm. Hmm. Is there any word, uh, diagonal word? Hmm. Forming diagonal word, diagonal line. I don't know. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Could be in diagonal line. It doesn't have to be. I mean, horizontal or vertical. Could be diagonal. Hmm. 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 Give up? Where's cheese? It's easy, right? Cheese? Cheese, where are you, cheese? <laughs> oh, is this this one cheese? Yes. Find it. Yeah. Maybe if we want to look for something, maybe we can start from the first uh, letter. Hmm. Okay. Bacon and chips and eggs and egg milk milk soup spaghetti okay chips where's chips try forming the diagonal line yeah yang diagonal okay chi 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 ah i found chips and um, chips diagonal i found it too c h i oh, yeah. yeah it's diagonal line Okay. I found egg. Yeah, this is is it? Yeah. Oh wow. It's there. Mm. <laughs> Shallow. That's so confusing. I li literally looking at <laughs> there, but I can't find it. Mm -mm. Bacon, nurse bacon. Bacon is also diagonal, right? B A C O N. Get oh it? yeah. Yeah, did you see it? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, tinggal berapa nih? One, two, three. Milk, soup, and spaghetti. Hmm. S S M. Hmm hmm hmm. Hmm. Spaghetti is kind of long word. <laughs> Everyone is in silence. <laughs> oh. Where's spaghetti? Oh. oh, milk. Oh, I saw milk. Here it is. M I L N K. Okay, milk. What about soup? Hard easy. Should be easy. Easy and spaghetti. <laughs> mm. Don't give up now before we find all the words here. <laughs> This is so confusing. <laughs> uh, two more words, only two more words. <sighs> Where's spaghetti? Give up? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. 
Don't give up now. <laughs> okay. Brown spaghetti, everyone. Take a look at this. S S P A G H E double T and I. Alhamdulillah. One word. Soup. Yeah. Where's soup? It's like a simple, mm. it's a simple word, but it's hard to find it. Simple and, yeah. Maybe because it's simple. <laughs> Maybe because it's simple. I only find S and O. Soup, 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 soup. Mm. Oh. Could it be diagonal line? Maybe. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Where's it? Mm -hmm. Come on, get me the word. <laughs> Come on, one more. Soup, soup, soup. Uh, anyone? Aldi, Kenzie? Have you found no. it? No. Not yet? Almahira? Kairin? Haven't. Almahira? Haven't? Oh. No. Gets me dizzy, right? <laughs> Saying so many words. Oh my god. Wait, it's so hard. <laughs> Shall we move to the next slide? Just leave it? Yes, maybe. <laughs> yes, maybe? Yes. Just too, too long to guess the only one word, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, like regarding, regarding what we are talking about, yeah food and drinks, we will have to talk about the structures of sentence, yeah, or expressions like likes and dislikes, okay? Usually likes, liking something and disliking something is usually followed by, uh, in the grammatical structure, we call it gerund, okay? It's actually topic, uh, a kind of topic that you will learn on your 12th grade later okay now you're in the sixth grade okay okay but this is the easier this but this is the easier one okay so you can learn about it i like okay if you say i like something i like plus noun chicken is a noun or kata benda noun you can on, you can directly say i like chicken i like pizza i like oxtail soup and so on and so on okay but if you want to say i love something but uh, regarding to the activ activities, you can say like, for example, I love cooking. Cook is a verb. Okay, cook is a verb. After the, the verbs like like, love, and enjoy, these are the three words. The three words are usually followed by gerund. What is gerund? Gerund itu kata kerja dibendakan. Gerund itu biasanya constitute from verb plus the ing form okay so you can say i love cooking i love climbing mountains for example i love swimming uh, what else i enjoy making pancakes misalnya gitu ya i enjoy making pancakes all of these three means i like aku suka aku suka sekali gitu ya gitu the rest the the two I'm crazy about, aku suka banget sama aja ya. I'm mad about, aku juga suka banget. I'm crazy about is followed by noun. I'm mad about rendang. Okay, this is also a noun. Noun means kata benda. Pizza, rendang, chicken, pancake, situ juga. They are nouns atau kata benda. So you don't have to add like verb plus ing form after these words. Okay. What about dislikes? The same thing. 
Okay, same here. I don't like fishing. Aku nggak suka mancing. Okay, fishing is an activity. Yeah, to fish means yeah untuk mancing. Okay, jadi fish can have two meanings. Ya kan? It can mean verb. It can also mean noun as a verb, and it can also function as a noun. Okay, I don't like fish, for example, as nouns. I don't like fishing. Berarti I don't like going fishing. Misalnya, nggak suka memancing. Or I don't like fish. Aku nggak suka ikan. Gitu ya. I dislike. I dislike sushi. Really? <laughs> I like sushi. Ya, yeah, I dislike sushi. Sushi is a noun. Kata benda. Ya kan? Makanan. Noun. I hate chopping onions. Aku nggak suka. I hate. Aku benci. Ya, yeah, you can say I hate. To show dislikeness, chopping means memotong-motong tapi ukurannya besar. Onions itu bawang bombay. Okay, uh, you should notice the difference about uh, between onions and shallots. Ya, yeah? we say shallots for bawang merah. Ya kan? Kalau garlic pasti tahu kan? Garlic itu bawang putih. Oke, okay, uh, onions like onion rings in pizza, ya yeah, kan? Di Pizza Hut itu ada bombay, oke, okay, bawang bombay. I can't bear example, I can't bear this smell. Aku nggak tahan dengan bau ini, gitu ya. <laughs> Mungkin bau masak rawon, no, not really. Oke, okay, I can't bear this smell. Aku nggak tahan dengan bau ini. Mungkin bau. If your mother sorting some like um, apa ya? Ya ini mungkin shallots and garlics and chili. Chili and chops, gitu kan ya. Mungkin tuh baunya kalau numis itu udah kemana-mana. Bisa bersin-bersin kita ya. It makes us sneezing, right? Gitu ya, kalau lagi hurt numis ya gitu. Hurts my nose a lot. Mm-mm, hurts your nose a lot? Oh my. <laughs> Oke, okay, you should go away. <laughs> Berarti ya, juga boleh di situ. Jauh-jauh. Oke, okay, I can't stand has the same meaning as I can't bear. I can stand cooking in a dirty kitchen. Well, who can? <laughs> Aku nggak tahan masak di dapur yang kotor ya. Yeah. It's not good actually. Dirty kitchen. Oke. Okay. Gitu ya mungkin ya. About likes and dislikes. Ah. This is maybe our last discussion for this topic. Expressing preferences. Ini juga expressions yang sering dipakai untuk uh, to talk about foods and drinks ya. Yeah. I prefer. Itu artinya lebih memilih atau lebih menyukai. I prefer tea. To coffee. Jadi di sini prefer has the pair. Pairnya atau pasangannya adalah to. You cannot change it to in or on or at or anything. Ya, yeah. you can only pair prefer to to. Oke, okay. saya lebih memilih atau lebih menyukai teh daripada kopi. Gitu. Jadi tea and coffee they are nouns. Oke, okay. saya lebih memilih teh daripada kopi. Lebih suka teh daripada kopi. The second sentence, I'd prefer to, I'd, this is the contracted form of from I would, okay, I would prefer, okay, the polite one, yeah, I would prefer to have some water, saya lebih suka atau lebih milih minum air putih aja, gitu, okay, gitu ya, mungkin kalau ditawarin, uh, what do you prefer, misalnya, what would you prefer, misalnya, would you prefer water, atau misalnya, Mineral water or misalnya uh, mango juice, misalnya ditawarin kayak gitu, atau orange juice. Oh, I prefer to have some water, please. Misalnya gitu ya, bisa. The third sentence is, I like tea better than coffee. Oke, okay, ada juga yang pakai better than. Sama aja ini artinya. Ini juga noun, ini juga noun. Saya lebih suka teh. Saya suka teh lebih daripada, better than, lebih daripada kopi. Oke. Okay. Next, I prefer reading books. Nah, prefer di sini bukan diikuti noun. It's not followed by noun, but prefer here is followed by verb ing. Tadi ya, jaran ya. I prefer reading books. I prefer watching movies. I prefer playing game consoles, maybe, for Kenzie and Aldi. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I prefer jogging to running. Yeah, because running is too tiring. Ya yeah, kan? Jogging is not. Gitu kan? Bisa lebih santai kalau jogging daripada Running. I prefer jogging to running. Saya lebih suka jogging daripada running. I'd prefer or I would prefer living in. Oke, okay, prefer plus verb yang diikuti in juga kayak tadi. 
I prefer living in the city to living in the country. Aku lebih suka tinggal di kota daripada, oke, okay, to here means daripada tinggal di country, di kampung, di desa, gitu mungkin ya. Why? I don't know. I'll ask you one by one. Hmm, Almahira, which one do you prefer? Would you prefer living in a city to living in the country? Almahira? Hmm. Come on, Almahira. City. City? Uh, pre- you would prefer living in a city to living in the country? Why? Jadi mas pokok yang untuk gabungin PDF itu udah saya Why is it so? Ya Alhira Kenapa? Have you ever lived in the country before? Udah pernah belum tinggal di desa? Almahira? Um. Not yet? <laughs> okay. I'll go to Kairin. Kairin, which one do you prefer? Which one yes. would you prefer? Mm, which one would you prefer? Um, city. In the city? Why? Because Why is it? Uh, I never be into the country before. Mm-mm. You've never been. Don't you want to try it once? <laughs> Don't no. you want to try it once? No. Why? No. Because because my friend said when she goes to the country and the country mm-hmm. is really not comfortable, so I don't want to try it. Oh, what makes her not comfortable with living in the country? Maybe is because it, not is secured. It not secure? The chicken sound. The chicken sound? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the chicken sound? You can slaughter the chicken and make it satay, right? You can slaughter. slaughter. You know what the word slaughter means? Menyembeli? Okay. Yes. Yeah, Muslims usually slaughter certain animals, ya kan? Slaughter. For Eid, Eid al-Adha, ya kan? Slaughter some animals like goats or cows, like that, ya kan? The chicken sound. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but it's, it, it is more secure, I think, in the country rather than in the city. Because, yeah, there are too many criminals in the city, right? <laughs> but maybe for the internet connection, it's better in the city than in the country, right? Yes. Is that so? Uh, yeah. uh, also, uh, they got a fresh air. Fresher air, of course, good. Yeah, fresher air in the country. It's good. It's good for your lungs. Yes, but in the country, they don't don't have security, like. They don't the security city. like. Mm-hmm. Like in the city, because some, like in my block, there's a security every like mm-hmm. house like that because oh. maybe i thought in the country they doesn't have a security so maybe it's unsafe unsafe do you think there are, there are so many thieves in the country than no, in the city i don't know we be sitting more a lot thief mm. okay also you you don't find many facilities or amenities in the country like the ones in the city right Yeah, yeah, you can go to malls maybe. <laughs> Again, you cannot hang out with your friends like uh, in the city. Yeah, but you can go to the mountains. You can climb mountains, or you go to the rivers or lakes. You can to get fresher air. Okay, thank you. Is it Kyrin? Okay, thank you, Kyrin. Uh, what about Almira? Almira, what would you rather? Hmm. Oh, ini kita bahasin dulu ya. Which rather? Which one would you rather choose? Would you rather stay at home or study at home online than study uh, offline or you should go to school? Mm. I do mm. like both of them, but oh. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. maybe online. Online? Mm-hmm. Is it because you're, <laughs> you're, you're getting used to it, yeah? Hmm? You can stay in your bed 
all day long. Uh huh. <laughs> but we don't have that kind of habits right before the pandemics, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. we, we go to school, right? We're going to school every day before this past two years, right? So actually, um, yeah, but maybe people get used to it now. It's been two years, right? Okay, but you prefer, but you prefer, it, it, uh, none of you prefer, yeah? Most uh, it is okay, okay? Stay, I mean, staying at or learning at home, or studying at home, and studying at school, yeah? Okay. Kenzie, what would you rather take? Take a nap or go for a walk on weekends? Which one would you prefer, Kenzie? Kenzie? Huh? Ah, which one would you prefer? Would you rather, would you rather? Take a nap, then go for a walk, or would you rather go for a walk then take a nap on weekends? Like this one. Um, what do you usually do on weekends? Um, <laughs> Maybe? and go huh? oh wow go for a walk okay okay go for a walk. where do you usually go kenzie on weekends with your family mm. Apa? Mm. where do you usually go for a walk with your family on weekends mm. Mm. i didn't going know. to Going to malls or going to like um, swimming pool? <laughs> mm, depok. Depok. Okay. Ke depok? Okay. <laughs> okay, Kenzie, Aldi, uh, what would you rather choose? Play football than golf or would you rather play golf than play football? I'd rather play golf than football really yeah, football can you play golf with golf football and rock uh, yeah but maybe we can say it's like soccer gitu aja deh apa <laughs> kalau rugby kan mungkin di sini enggak enggak ada kali ya iya yeah. uh -uh. um, i'd rather play golf where do you usually play golf um Sometimes I go to courses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like For that. golf course? Do you are you taking yeah, golf yeah. course? Yeah, that one. Oh, okay. What kind of other sports did you take? What? Is there any other sports course that you take? Uh, I take basketball. Mm -mm. What else? Um, that's it. Okay. Basketball and course. Swimming, yeah. Swimming, ah, oh, that's good swimming, good for your lungs, <laughs> and it's also uh, apa ya? Um, Muslims are recommended to learn, yeah, to learn swimming, ya yeah, kan? Gitu, okay. Okay. We have actually three activities that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Prophet Muhammad tells us to learn. It to horseback riding, horseback riding, and also swimming and archery. Is there any of you who can do archery? I have tried before, but I can't. Mm -mm. Oh, why is it? Is it hard? Difficult? It's uh, the the thing to like. Uh, I don't know what they call it. <laughs> ah, Archery. this is the, And then this it's is the so bow. heavy. It's heavy. So it's the bow hard. is heavy. Yeah, yeah bow, bow is, is heavy. heavy. And then the arrow. This one. Yeah. This is the. the you call it the arrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the arrow. The arrow is kind of hard to control it too. Ah. Uh, uh, 
Uh, you call it dart, the target. Okay, dart. Sorry for the bad drawing. <laughs> dart. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to kind of um, directing the arrow to the target. Yeah, kan? <laughs> I've tried it too, archery. Yeah. Okay. It's, it needs focus, yeah. It needs focus. Okay. It makes you clever, I think. Yeah. One of the benefit learning archery is making you clever and because it takes focus for your brain to focus, yeah. Okay. Uh, come on, Ania. Next, which one do you prefer? Okay. Actually, this one, this slide is maybe for the junior high school, but that's okay. Pancake recipe. <laughs> this is the recipe to make pancakes. Who love eating pancakes? Me. Or is there any of you who can make pancakes? It's easy, right? Yeah. Making pancakes is easy. Yeah. The ingredients, bahan bahannya, you only need flour, milk, eggs. What else? I mean, butter. Yeah. Yes. I, I guess we also need butter. Yeah, kan? And can do we need a uh, water? Maybe we also need. Yeah. To mix it. Yeah. Oh, and also. Better or mixer. Okay. Pancake recipe. First, sieve the flour into a bowl. Sieve is like this. Kita ayak gitu ya. Kita ayak tepungnya ke dalam mangkuk. And then, the next step is add an egg into the bowl. Okay. Crack the egg and put it into the bowl. The third step is pour the milk into the bowl. Pour the milk into the bowl. Beat together with a whisk or whisker. Okay, you can call it better juga. Bisa. Beat. Yeah. Mix it until it blends. Terus, cook mixture. Cook the mixture in a frying pan. Tada. Okay, jadi ya. Okay. Uh, I used to make pancakes for my kids. Uh, and I usually add some ice creams on the top of the pancakes. It tastes very good. Tasty. Okay. Or... Usually, uh, like the ones you can see in the movies, they usually add honey, yeah, kan? Honey or... Honey and some butter. Yeah. But it's good if you eat pancakes with ice cream. It's tasty. Okay. <laughs> uh, simple present tense. Have you ever learned about this before? Simple present? It's a kind of grammar. Grammar things. Oh, yes. Yes? No. Okay. Hmm? Yes? Ada yang belum mungkin? Have you all learned about this? It's uh, it, the, apa ya? The function of simple present tense is to state about habits, kebiasaan, or repeated actions. Like, I eat, so you do the activity all the time i mean the whole year like that yeah misalnya i, I you know, scratch your nose okay <laughs> facts and generalization the sun rises this is a general truth so whenever it is the sun we can say the sun rises in the east or the sun sets in the west like that yeah except nanti uh, mendekati hari kiamat the end of the the end of the world <laughs> mungkin ya Itu nanti mungkin jadi beda lagi. The sun sets in the east, misalnya gitu ya. Itu udah beda lagi ya. But usually the facts, the natural facts and the generalization or the general truth is uh, is the sun rises in the east, for example. I go online um, to study, misalnya, I go online to study every day, misalnya. Itu kan habit juga atau repeated action these days. Or you can say use simple present to say at a state about scheduled future events. Misalnya, my plane lands at 11.20. Berarti ini schedule nih. Kita naik pesawat, it will land at 11.20, misalnya gitu ya. Jadi kita pakai simple present tense di sini. Okay. We usually use the verb, uh, the base verb, at the verb one. You can say it verb one. Indonesian people say it verb once or to infinitive. Or you can say use be as a verb. Be maksudnya to be ya. 
gitu. Misalnya you check. Jadi every oh, or class misalnya misalnya kelas kita ini every Wednesday on the third week. Ya, yeah, on Wednesday, every Wednesday on the third week of the month, you learn English with me. Misalnya ya, kayak gitu ya bisa ya. You take this class every Saturday kalau di sini contohnya ya. For the subject I, you, we, they, you use verb one. As for the subject she, he, or it, third person singular. Ini orang ketiga tunggal. You use verb one and you add an S or ES. Okay. Miss, can I go to the toilet? Yeah, of course. We will end the class in five minutes. <laughs> okay. He studies English every day. Okay. Uh, if we use the word study for IUV day, the fourth subject, we, also, we can only use it like this. We can write like this, study. But when you use it for the third person singular, he, she, it, you should change the form of the verb into like this. Okay, you should omit the Y, omit the Y, omit the Y, you change it to I, and you add the ES, okay, at the end of the word. This complies to this, uh, the addition of ES complies to verbs ending in SS like pass, CH like watch, SH like wash, for example. Um, what else? O, like go or do. So you can say, misalnya, Almahira passes her exam. Passes her exam. Jadi plus ES. Uh, can Z watches um, Doraemon maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Can Z watches, apa yang suka ditonton Can Z ya? I don't know. For example, just Doraemon. Can Z watches Doraemon every Sunday? Misal, watches. And then Almaira, okay, this this is simple. <laughs> Almaira washes her dad's car every Sunday morning, misalnya washes. Or Aldi uh, does his homework every night, misalnya does tambah es belakangnya. Or Kairin goes to goes online <laughs> for studying, misalnya every morning. Gitu ya, plus ES juga gitu. Jadi, these rules kapan dipakainya? Dipakainya untuk he, she, and it. Oke, okay. this is what for the affirmative sentence, affirmative atau kalimat positif ya, affirmative sentence. This one is for the negative sentence. For the negative sentence, you should add an auxiliary verb atau kata kerja bantu. I, you, we, they, you use do. He, she, it, you use does. And then remember the verb. Okay. Kata kerjanya udah kembali lagi ke bentuk verb satu. Without this changing. Yeah. We do not have problem with that. We do plus not. This is the characteristic of negative sentence. You use not here. She does not really care. Okay. Have. Ini verb satu lagi ya. Okay. Jadi kita nggak pakai. She does not really care. Sudah nggak pakai S lagi karena udah ada das di sini, oke? Okay. The last one, the interrogative sentence, the last type, oke? Okay. You should only in, uh, invert, invert the auxiliary verb with the subject. Jadi tinggal dibalik aja. Misalnya, uh, we do not have the problem. Jadi, do we have the problem? Misalnya atau you take this class, do you take this class? He studies English every day. Does he study English every day? Like that. Do you hear me? Gitu ya. Berarti kalau kita bikin affirmative sentence-nya adalah You hear me. Kalau kita bikin negatifnya, berarti You don't hear me. No changes here because the subject is The subject is you. Ya kan? Jadi I, you, we, they itu nggak ada perubahan di verb-nya. As for the third person singular, he, she, it, baru dia pakai does, see, ya kan, misalnya jadinya di sini, does he see me, 
gitu. Kalau he-nya pakai age capital letter begini berarti dia biasanya mengacu untuk um, God ya. Berarti kalau kita Allah gitu ya. Apakah Allah melihatku? Does he see me? So if you want to make affirmative sentence, we can write it like this. He Allah sees me. Allah melihatku. Or the negative sentence will be he does not doesn't see me. Okay. Clear any question so far? I guess we should end the class because time's up. It's quarter past four already. Hmm. Any question so far? No. Hello, everyone. Maybe we'll talk about this uh, B verb on our next meeting, yeah? Insha Allah. And also the exercise. How about, about the this. soup? The soup? <laughs> oh, what the soup? I think, I think you can buy it yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> just, okay. Any? Are you keep you keep thinking about the soup, the oxtail soup? Oh, the soup. Okay. <laughs> I'm still thinking about. Still thinking about the soup. Okay. Do you want me to? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Do you want me to to give you the screenshot of the puzzle and then you go find it yourself? Yes. Oh yeah, sure. Okay. I, I record this lesson, this discussion, this afternoon, and I'll, oh, okay, how should I share it to you? Okay, the soup, 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 okay, tell me when you get it, okay? I'll send it to you on the meeting chat right now. Okay, wait. Oh, I've erased all our writings. It's okay, okay we can find it again. Okay, tell me, tell me when you're done, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm sending you right now. Okay, I'm sending it to you right now. Hmm. Soup. I barely forgot it. <laughs> but no question so far about simple present tense. Easy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. way too easy. Yeah, way too easy for you. <laughs> Sate kelatak. I thought sate kelapa. <laughs> what is the Doraemon? Oh, have you never? Oh, you never seen it before, Kairin Doraemon. I'm amazed too. Ah, oh? yeah, it's kind of old movies, but you can maybe you can browse it on YouTube. You can type Doraemon Stand by Me. That's the movie. The blue one, right? Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh, got I it. Thought, I thought it was not the right one. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Mobile seller. Okay. Parabot one. <laughs> okay, I've sent it to you guys. The puzzle. Okay, get me the soup. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is that all for? I think I'm gonna today? stay all night to find the soup. Ah. Oh, okay. Hope you find it. <laughs> Maybe. I'll, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you next month. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you next month. Next yeah, on month. November. Yeah. We only have huh? once a month schedule for English. Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay. I'll see you. Yeah. We're going to talk about different topic next month, inshallah. I have another topic. Oh, yeah? Wednesday, it's it's different, right? Like, it can be between Indonesia, Bahasa Indonesia, IPS. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This. Yeah. Yeah, you call it tandem, okay? Yeah. You call it tandem, okay. That's all for today. Thank you very much for coming, and I... Truly appreciate your participation on my class today. Very good to see you. It's my pleasure to have you here in my class. I'll see you next month and I'll end the class with doa kafaratul majlis. Subhanakallahumma bihamdika. Asyadu ala ilaha ilanta. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you all. Waalaikumsalam. See you next month. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Thank you.